Welcome into Washington and Indiana betting preview right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. I am Drew Martin from wagertalk.com. We got 12 noon Eastern, 11 o'clock local time on Big Ten Network. It is the Washington Huskies and the Indiana Hoosiers coming to us from Memorial Stadium, Bloomington, Indiana, the site of college game day here. So arguably the game of the weekend, guys, and talking about it. You know, just strictly from the Vegas perspective, we are seeing Washington catching six, six and a half, 54 being the total as I'm breaking down the show here on Thursday afternoon. Look, guys, seven and zero oh, Indiana, probably the biggest surprise in all of college football. Uh, they, they played great. The Hoosiers have offensively. They are really moving the ball. They've scored 40 plus points in six straight games. They just beat Nebraska 56 to seven. And now they're up against a four and three Washington team. But they're laying less than a touchdown at home. What's up here? Well, let's break it down because uh, I think there's pretty good reason why this number is not is, is not higher. First off, Washington off of a bye. And schedule spot wise, these bye weeks in college football can be very, very important. Not to mention the travel aspect here. I think that helps. But really, it's because Washington, remember their run to the national championship last season. Well, now they have a new coach, new head coach, new staff, new quarterback. Therefore, going four and three in the first seven games and now getting a bye week. I actually think this is a great situational spot to jump on the Huskies because, you know, a lot of new faces, a lot of new players. The new quarterback can come back, practice on the fundamentals, get back into the system and kind of bounce back here. Not that they need to big time. I mean, they are over 500 on the season, but I think we actually see a, a better product on the field from the Husky side of things. And their head coach, Jed Fish, he is two and one off of a bye in his coaching career. Will Rogers is a guy behind center. I actually looked a bet on. I think he's a pretty talented quarterback there. He's a guy, I, I believe he's Mississippi State's all-time passing leader. He transfers to Washington. I think you could have a big game here. Now, looking at Indiana, I mean, kind of touched on it. Their offensive numbers, guys, 40 straight in six straight games. They're averaging 48 points a game, number two scoring offense in the country. The problem here is for, for Kurt Signetti's team, their, their quarterback that's got them this far, Curtis Rourke, the transfer from uh, the MAC conference, He's got a thumb injury. He's likely not to play. That's the uh, the news that I'm reading here. So it's kind of, man, a thorn in their side. Your quarterback that's got you to this point, he's likely not to play. Their backup, Jackson, did come in. He threw a couple touchdowns, um, and he does have a full week of practice. However, this is an interesting part of the handicap. You know, a guy that comes in with, what, multiple score lead as the quarterback, you're the backup. It's a little bit easier. You know, it's a lot of handing off. Just make sure you don't make any big mistakes and you're going to win the game. So now having to start over against the Washington team that has extra time to prepare on defense for you. It's a it's a lot tougher assignment. However, towards the positives on the Hoosier side of things, knowing you're going to be the quarterback here in practice, you get to practice with the number one. So it's kind of a little bit of a seesaw as a handicapper, which one's a little bit more important. I think Jackson, you know, I think Indiana is going to be able to score points. I mean, from everything I've read, it was a competition, you know, in spring it, 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 before the season in preseason. So I don't know that it's too big of a drop off. However, it's still a scary situation to be betting on a backup quarterback laying points. Overall, guys, I broke this game down in the the opening line report, college football style, which it looks like we're going to keep going here on Monday mornings. If you're interested in betting opening lines in college football, check that out on the Wager Tech YouTube channel. It's Drew's Daily Diamond on Mondays will be the opening line report. And I pointed towards Washington getting some money and also possibly some over money, even with a backup quarterback playing. I don't disagree with either of those looks so far in the season. I'm actually recording this on Thursday afternoon about uh, one o'clock Pacific time. And I would stick with Washington here, guys. I really would. The news has come out. Work is likely not to play. And I go back to the extra preparation time, Jed Fish coach team, and the new scholarship players um, kind of bouncing back. I think that, uh, yes, the Big Ten travel with two-plus uh, time zones has been a little bit rough, but I think the extra preparation time actually helps in that aspect as well. I mean, their last time out, Washington, they got, they got trounced by Iowa on the road. So in – from the betting market perspective, a lot of people are down on them, yet they're still only catching uh, uh, six, six and a half here. 
Let's go ahead and put the uh, the points in our pocket with the Washington Huskies. I think they come out and surprise here. I think the underdog is barking. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line. I think they ruined college game day in Bloomington, guys. I know I might be in the minority on that, but let's go Washington Huskies plus six in the hook. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you disagree, what your picks are for this weekend. All is welcome. I'll be in there. I read all the comments, guys. I'll be chiming in with you. So, uh Comments below, smash that like button, and check out premium picks. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin, number one football's total hit handicapper. Long term, over the last four years, we got a couple up for this weekend. Number one baseball sides handicapper as well. We got the World Series rocking, and we got the NFL com- card as well. So uh, great time to jump on board, and we got the premium picks. $8 a day special that gets you the month of November, the best month to be a sports handicapper is we got uh, college basketball tipping off the NBA and of course, college football, the NFL, Major League Baseball, World Series going. So uh, $8 a day premium picks if you like that as well. Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. Check it out, guys. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your week.